For today's math activity, you'll need counters. You will practice addition and subtraction by combining sets and separating sets to find out how many are left. Give your child three counters. Asking, how many counters do you have? Encourage them to touch and count each of the counters. One, two, three. Give your child two more. Ask, how many did I give you? They would count the new two, one, two. Now ask, how many counters do you have in all? Ask your child to count each of the counters for a total of five. One, two, three, four, five. Your child should say, I have five counters. Let's try another one. Give your child four counters. Ask, how many counters do you have? One, two, three, four. Each time they need to count those counters. Touch and count. Now, give your child two more and ask your child to count those counters. One, two. Now ask, how many counters do you have in all? Have them count each of the counters for a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your child should say, I have six counters. Continue giving a set of counters and asking your child, how many in all? Give your child five counters. One, two, three, four, five. And now you will ask, what happens if I take one away? Your child should count how many counters are left. One, two, three, four. I have four counters. Ask, what will happen if I take another one away? Your child should count and say, one, two, three. I have three counters. Continue this activity with different sets of counters, taking a few away at a time. Make counting, combining, and separating sets, which is addition and subtraction, a part of your everyday routine. You can practice with your child's favorite snack food, creating groups. When taking away, your child can eat one of those. They can help set the table with plates and napkins. And you can ask, how many plates? How many napkins? Then, how many in all? To rewatch this video and find more resources, go to palmbeachschools.org slash kindergarten. Happy practicing!